money definitely makes your life easier it helps you improve your lifestyle but money and happiness Hello and Namaste Paycheck Pros. I'm Manish Aujan and this is Paycheck to Profit, India's first YouTube channel dedicated to your financial freedom. On this channel, I make videos on 4th, 14th and 24th of every month. In this month earlier, I have already made two videos where I have spoken to you about mindset of money. If you haven't seen this video, please check this first video which is appearing on your screen right now. In this video, I talk to you about what exactly is mindset of money. And then the second video that you need to watch is right on your screen right now. In that video, I talk to you about whether your mindset is positive or negative with regards to money. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about what exactly can you do if you've realized that your mindset with regards to money is not necessarily in a positive space. What if you think about money negatively? What if thinking about money gets you really anxious and nervous? Well, I'll try to make the reply to that question as practical as possible. But I want you to understand something very fundamental. The entire concept of mindset of money is psychological. So what you actually need to do is you need to change the way you think about money. Only when there's a shift in your mindset of money, will you stop thinking about money negatively and start looking at the whole concept of money extremely positively. So how can you do that? The first thing that you definitely can do is figure out why do you need your money? How much of money do you really need? The reason why I say this is because today when you ask anybody in general, they'll tell you that they need hundreds of crores in their bank account because they want to buy these mansions, they want to drive these luxury cars and they want to just live a life that is full of lavish and indulgence and decadence. I'm not saying don't live a lavish life. I'm not saying don't live a luxurious life. Please live that life. You deserve every bit of it. But what I want you to realize is, is living in a mansion really the main purpose of your life? Will you never achieve satisfaction if you don't drive that luxury car which costs you what, maybe a couple of crores? You need to determine what exactly does the happiness quotient with regards to money look like. Which brings me to the next point. Is money the vehicle towards your growth? Is it a benchmark towards your growth? Or is it a benchmark towards your actual happiness? I know of people who have millions and maybe even billions of rupees in their bank accounts and trust me they're not happy money definitely makes your life easier it helps you improve your lifestyle but money and happiness don't really have a correlation per se one more extremely important point that i want people to understand is the difference between lack of money and perceived lack of money if you're watching this video on a phone using a bluetooth headset if you're watching this on wi-fi if you're watching this in the luxury of your home in an air-conditioned room, you already live a life of the top 2 or 3 or 5% of the world. I know it may sound extremely idealistic. I'm not saying that there is no scope of growth in life, not at all. I want you to grow maybe even 10 or 100 times from where you stand today. But what I'm trying to tell you is, let that growth come from a need or a space of purpose, passion, and not just with the whole mindset of making more and more and more money. Figure out how can you actually give back to the society? Figure out what can you do to make lives of people who are not as privileged as you. How can you give back to them? How can you make somebody else's life better and not just yours and of course your loved ones? When you actually shift your focus from lack of money towards the growth of money, towards abundance, towards having more than enough or having more than you need and require, you will automatically see there's a massive shift in the way you feel about money. I don't want you to stop looking at growth. I don't want you to look at com complacency or stagnancy because that's the worst thing that you can do with yourself and your life and your money. I just want you to look at all of those things with a smile on your face without any stress, without any anxiety, without any worry, without any nervousness. And the day you learn to do that, I would really believe that I have reached my purpose. And for you to reach that purpose, for you to actually learn how to manage your money better, budget your money better, invest your money better, get better insurance or do anything that you need to do with your money or any question that you may have with regards to your money, do not forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon, ask me any questions that you may have in the comment section. I promise to answer them all or maybe make a video reply so that it could benefit everybody who sees the video. I'm here to help you. 
I hope this video has added some value to your life. If you liked what you've seen, please do not forget to hit the like button and share it with all the people on your social media channels. Do share this video with people who you know personally who are always tensed and worried about money. So that's about it from me in today's video. I'll now be seeing you in the next video. Until then, please take good care of yourself and your loved ones. Keep smiling and stay happy. Kaching.